The Cyber Rodeo event has occupied Tesla's undivided attention. The Tesla Semi was spotted at the Giga Factory, Texas, ahead of the ceremony. When compared to the one seen across the United States last year, it appears that the company's variant of the vehicle has been modified. Here is everything we know about Cyber Rodeo. A Tesla enthusiast and drone pilot, Joe Ted Mayer, recently provided some photographs from the Giga Texas facility. According to the drone pilot, the preparations for the Cyber Rodeo event on April 7th are well advanced. There are what look to be automotive displays and large stage setup among them. The Tesla Semi was also in the region, although its wind deflector had been removed and transported by heavy equipment. Furthermore, given that the Cyber Rodeo is only a few days away, the flurry of activity around Gigafactory, Texas is unsurprising. The grand inauguration of Tesla's most ambitious electric vehicle plant is greatly anticipated. With invitations already being sent out, several business fans have disclosed that they're already planning to fly to Texas for the ceremony. The Cyber Rodeo is, without a doubt, gearing up to be a huge event. The Cyber Rodeo is expected to draw some 15,000 people, which is significantly more than the number of people allowed to attend Gigafactory Berlin's inaugural Model Y delivery event. The official debut of Giga Berlin was already a hugely entertaining event, so the Cyber Rodeo could only be even better. The event is strictly invitation only, but the size of the crowd guarantees that the celebrations will be spectacular. Tesla's Giga Factory in Austin, Texas is now open for business. This adds for a growing list of overseas locales where the company produces its electric vehicles, including Fremont, California, Shanghai, China, and Berlin, Germany. Elon Musk will present the first Model Y autos from Giga Texas during an official Cyber Rodeo opening party on April 7th, the first of a new generation of Tesla car architecture that utilizes their 4680 battery cell structural battery pack, which were created in-house. These cars may appear to be conventional Tesla Model Ys on the exterior, but they represent a huge step ahead in design and technology on the inside. All of this is made possible by one of the world's largest and most modern production factories. Unlike its sister factory in Germany, Giga Texas has come together at a breakneck speed and will be a true game changer for Tesla's North American business. It's tough to comprehend the sheer scale of this factory. Three quarters of a mile long and one quarter mile wide, the center segment. It would take about two miles to walk a lap around the entire thing. The plant has four stories rising to around seven levels with a total floor area of approximately 8 million square feet. Three different structures run lengthwise across the plant beneath the monolithic diamond shape we see today. Tesla did this so that covered roadways could run through the Gigafactory's interior. This allows them to make pickups and deliveries directly to the location they are needed by driving whole tractor trailers through the factory. TJ Ski was given a tour of Tesla's facility and allowed to make a video for Instagram published on March 24th. So the first thing we see is that Tesla has a Model Y dangling from the ceiling at an odd angle, almost as if it's ready to crash into the floor. However, as DJ Ski makes his way through the plant, we can see several Model Y vehicles and parts in various levels of completion, even though it appears to be uniformly painted black or blue. We can also see that there is a lot of free space inside the plant that is yet to be developed. The manufacturer of Model Y at Giga Texas is only the first phase. This will be accompanied by production lines for the Tesla Cybertruck and even their massive electric semi-truck sometime next year. There will also be a complete production line for the 4680 battery inside the factory. The closest thing we've seen yet to Elon Musk's grand concept of an alien dreadnought factory capable of producing complete automobiles solely through automation, a machine that creates machines, is Giga Texas. To make this conceivable, we need to create every part of the vehicle under one roof or at the very least in the same industrial location. Tesla has been rumored to be planning to cover the entire roof of Giga Texas with solar panels for some time. Observers have already noted that they aim to use strategically placed gaps in the panels to spell out the word Tesla across the top. Tesla plans to build a massive battery storage facility next to the factory to manage the power provided by those panels, which is something new we recently learned about. According to a permit application filled with the city of Austin, Tesla is planning to install the utility and associated improvements on a 53.27-acre property next to Giga Texas. With the project named Giga Texas Ikra Permanent Switchyard and BESS, the application was filed on March 25th to indicate what utilities and associated improvements will be included. 
That acronym stands for Battery Energy Storage System, which in this case refers to the Tesla Megapack unit, sufficient to cover 53 acres. Tesla claims that they can deploy 1 gigawatt hour of storage capacity in just 3 acres of land with a Megapack. They're considering putting in an extensive energy storage system alongside the facility. Unfortunately, we'll still have no idea what the specific specifications of these Texas-made Model Ys will be. Hundreds of them have already been produced and staged in the parking lot around the plant, as can be seen. The majority of them have been black and blue, but we've recently seen white and even red cars coming off the assembly line, indicating that the paint shop is nearly filled right now. We only saw the long-range Model Y variant with the standard silver wheels at first. However, we've recently begun collecting vehicles with black-coated rims. So, with the induction wheel modification, these may be more long-range vehicles, or perhaps the performance variation of the Model Y that's only available with the blacked-out ultra-turbine wheels. This is already a significant improvement over Giga Berlin's Model Y performance, which was only available in black and white at its initial delivery. There isn't much diversity. The only thing we don't know about this Texas-built Model Y is whether or if the range and acceleration specs will differ in any way. Given advances in both cell and pack technology, it's likely that Tesla might configure these to be better performers in both areas. However, this implicates matters in terms of the product line and creates client expectations for the car they will receive. Even if they're dramatically different in physical form, the Texas automobile and the California car are likely to be similar on the spec sheet. Then there's how many automobiles they'll be able to produce in the first year of production at Giga Texas. According to rumors, Tesla is expected to send some of its upcoming goods at the Cyber Rodeo. The Cybertruck, which appears to be the basis for the Cyber Rodeo's name, is one of them. Other unpublished vehicles such as the next-generation Roadster and the Tesla Semi are expected to show there. With the Tesla Semi having previously been found in the Giga Texas complex, it wouldn't be shocking if the company's other future cars were spotted nearby in the following days. The Tesla Semi was revealed in 2017 and will be available in 2020. However, in its second quarter 2021 financial report, the business said that manufacturing would be delayed until 2022 to better focus on these plants as well as due to restricted availability of battery cells and global supply chain problems. The Tesla Semi has a range of 300 or 500 miles depending on the model. At the launch, Musk stated that 80% of trucking routes in the United States are less than 250 miles long. These stats haven't changed since the truck was unveiled in 2017. It's unclear whether Tesla's September 2020 Battery Day statements, in which the firm described new batteries with a 54% improvement in range, will have an impact on these numbers. Elon Musk posted a neon cyberpunk-themed poster at the Cyber Rodeo at Giga Texas on Twitter, along with the April 7th date. The tweet drew a lot of attention right away, with many identities attempting to get invited to the party. It's expected that local Tesla owners will be invited. Elon Musk is no stranger to making big promises, and the Tesla CEO recently made a statement about hosting the largest party on Earth. 15,000 people will be invited, with numerous individuals, organizations, and businesses already requesting invitations. The celebration was inspired by a similar event held in Berlin in 2021. Because the corporation does not spend money on advertising efforts, the article describes this type of party as a marketing approach. The mar